So traders, I want to share something with you when it comes to Bitcoin. So you Bitcoin sort of traders right now. Um, if, when you're trying to look at Bitcoin, uh, why I believe it's not a good time to buy Bitcoin here right now. And um, and why why we, we may be forming a bit of a short term top in the market. So let's get straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, let's get straight into it. Now, firstly, the first thing I said was why it's not, the, not a good time to buy Bitcoin right now. And the reason why is because every time Bitcoin makes a bubble, like it makes a big, 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 big move, it's like like we have now. You can see even back here, back in early, early this year, we made a very big move up, and then we actually just sort of went through a pullback. There's going to be some sort of a decent pullback coming soon, guys, out of the out of Bitcoin. So um, don't don't be chasing it. Wait wait for a much bigger dip because you can see we do get our dips and so on and so forth. Bitcoin doesn't just go straight up. So if you're looking to buy Bitcoin, wait for a nice bit, a, a bit of a pullback first, you know. And if you're looking at something, then maybe even use a Fibonacci level. That's where's my Fibonacci. Looking at my Fibonacci levels, Fibonacci retracement. So if we go from the low to the high point, you know, if we do start to see a bit of a pullback, then you know, even a fifty percent or sixty percent uh, retracement would be a much, much, much better time to buy than right now. Again, it's all about probability, guys. Okay, if you're looking to buy Bitcoin. Uh, don't ever buy anything when the market's been just going up, up, and up, and up a lot. So um, now, as you can see, that not only are we getting that, but look what's happening through here with my good old indicator. This is the RSI. And notice what happened. Notice last time, look at this. Notice last time as we just slowly started to crawl up, we started to get the RSI trending down, 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 down. And then guess what happened? We got, we, we got a big pullback. So now we've got up, we come down, 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 down. Now look what's happening. We're still going up. We're making a higher high, but now we're getting a bit of a divergence here. So we could be getting ready for a sharper, even a sharper pullback um, in the markets. I don't believe I don't believe we're changing trend overall. If I look at my weekly charts, um, if I look at my weekly charts, oh wow, you can look at this here. Um, if I look at my weekly charts, even the weekly charts is massively overextended. Ain't that? Well, there you go. I just I just realized that. I didn't realize that at all. But look at this here. That there is pretty much that there. So it doesn't mean we're going to be at the top, but we, we, we could be getting really, really close. And the same thing through here. Look how high we are above that level. Um, look at that there. Great buying opportunities, isn't it? Look at that there. Anyway, um, and so the thing is, is um, I forget what I was talking about here. <laughs> so... The whole thing about this, guys, is that whenever, whenever, whenever we start to get a very big move like this, guys, it's not going to be a good time to buy, um, you know. And we, we, we will, we, we will start to get some pullbacks. But, um, but even if we do get a bit of a pullback, guys, I still see very big sort of strong trend analysis coming into play, like something like this here as well, you know. So we, that, that probably that trend line is going to come into play. Maybe create another higher low through here and continue up. So looking at the daily charts. We can see that through there. So, um, firstly, if you're not in Bitcoin, don't be chasing Bitcoin up here. That's the wrong thing to do. Um, again, it's all about probabilities. There's no certainty in the markets, but to get a good probability of buying Bitcoin, wait for it. Wait for it to do what it does, like every market does, and wait. Wait for a bit of a strong pullback first, then jump into it, which is a healthy thing anyway for it to do that, and then wait for it, and then then it's now likely to continue up from there. Traders, I've been getting a lot of questions about asking me about, John, how do I trade the markets? What sort of system do I use? How, what's my approach and so on and so forth. So I'm running a free masterclass teaching you my number one trading system for the last 15 years. This is the most powerful and highest probability system on the planet. And I'm going to just share with you all the details. Plus, I'm going to share with you how I find and scan and do all my trading in one hour or less per day. If you go to johnsfreetraining.com, you can register for this free training that I'm going to run. So go to that right now. I'm going to teach you all the details. And I promise you, once you leave this free training, not only we know exactly what goes into a good trader, so you can be a good trader, but also you're going to learn my number one trading system, all the details so you can start to crush it. So go to johnsfreetraining.com and I look forward to seeing you on the masterclass. Go to johnsfreetraining.com right now.